what's up, good morning. It's um, currently like 4, 4 a.m. at Dublin Airport and I've just, I've been here all night, I'm fucking so tired. But hopefully it's worth doing an all-nighter in the airport. I've got like an hour's sleep, sleeping on the floor down there somewhere. But hopefully it's all worth it because today I'm going somewhere very exciting. Got to a new destination, um, international. And yeah, somewhere where I've always wanted to go before, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Found some cheap as flights, and um, here's a little hint on uh, where I'm going. America. First, I'm gonna do like pre customs clearance and shit because you have to for the states. I don't know. Got to go through a bunch more security screening, so I don't know how how long that's gonna take. All right, so I'm tired as fuck. I got here at midnight last night, and I've slept two hours. I literally slept on the floor. But um, since it's like a six hour flight and budget airline, um, there's like no food, so hell yeah, Whopper for breakfast, fucking healthy. But all good, heading to US Customs pre-check clearance now, and then board my flight. Yo. So I made it through the customs and pre-clearance and stuff. This plane's the Boeing 737 MAX. Yeah. So it's like a seven and a half hour flight from here to Stewart Airport. We're not flying into like JFK or any of the big ones, but yeah. Stewart Airport and then an hour and a half ride into the city. Please remain seated, keep your seatbelts fastened and keep the aisle free from all hand luggage until the aircraft has come to complete stop and a fastened seatbelt sign has been switched off. Alright, so I just got off the flight. It's fucking pretty long, eh? it's like seven and a half hours, but it was all good because as you can see, I had like the whole row to myself. It was The plane wasn't even half full, so that was like great. And yeah, I think the ticket cost me, it's like insanely cheap, 72 euro which is like 110 New Zealand dollars. I said, I already said all this in the plane. I went to the toilet and said it, but uh, fucking, I watched the video and the noise is just shit. So yeah, so landing now, it's sunny. It's like 20 something degrees and you gonna know, jump on the bus, head into, head into Manhattan. Definitely in America when you've got like massive four wheel drives is like state fucking uh, massive pickup trucks and stuff. All good. Alright, so it's been like a while since I got the camera out, mainly because New York is fucking busy, man, and it's so awkward to like vlog. I don't know how I'm gonna do it because there's so many people everywhere. But basically, I got off the bus. Um, we went through the Lincoln Tunnel, which is like it goes under under the Hudson River, I think it is, from like New Jersey to to Manhattan. And then that dropped me off at like near Times Square, sort of. Um, and I basically walked from Times Square down to where I, some pier down, like downtown. But yeah, there's Broadway, Times Square, there's fucking busy as, heaps of people. It's a bit more chilled out here, so. Yeah, we'll see what happens, but it's like 3, 
three o'clock in the afternoon now. And I'm just gonna chill. I might, might go up the, might go up the one more trace of it. That's a massive slice of pizza. Bro, this dollar piece is fucking massive. I shouldn't be having two more of these, too many more of these. I'm just going downtown now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think the 911 memorial is like up ahead, so I might check that out. All right, time to go up to the observation deck. Hopefully, it'll be pretty sick up there. Definitely good views. I think it's like 500 something meters tall, so should be a pretty sick view up the top. Welcome to One World Observatory. This might seem like ages ago if you watch my videos like constantly, but the one where the um where I run up the Tokyo Sky Tree, I'm only editing that now, editing that now, so you can see like how far behind I am. Anyway, I'm editing that now and I fucking hope this one doesn't have an observation deck. Uh, like a no, like the, the glass floor thing. The view here is incredible. Manhattan looks sick. I have to say, the view is a lot better from up here compared to the Tokyo Sky Tree because it was quite like cloudy when I went up on the Tokyo Sky Tree that day. Well, that was pretty fun, but now I'm going to make the most of this nice weather, make the most of the rest of the day. Hopefully, I don't fall asleep because I feel like I'm about to. And I'm just gonna walk around and see see shit. So this should be sick. Got a five hundred dollar gift card randomly. Actually, actually, I might go to the 9/11 memorial. now so I think I'm just gonna jump in the subway head to the hostel that I'm staying at tonight but I kind of want to make the most of this like good weather and it's gonna be good while I'm here the whole time but it's just so nice out I just don't want to go inside so yeah see you back at the hostel I guess with my flat phone look at that view so there's the Queensborough Bridge Midtown and Central Park over there Five ten minute subway ride away. Look at Just sit here all night and watch the sunset over the city. Definitely gonna come stay back here if I'm ever in New York again, just because of the price and the view from the roof. It's sick. All right, as you can see, it's morning. Um, I was up here last night on the rooftop, but I forgot to end the vlog, so that's what I'm doing now. Basically. Today I'm just gonna go walk around like Central Park and Times Square and just do random shit. So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna vlog it today, um, but I'll I'm gonna do do a vlog tomorrow. So should be like two, maybe three vlogs from New York in total. But yeah, I'm here for four days. It's my second day. So yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow. So I'll see you then.